Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday and we are doing a what I eat in a day, one of my favorite kind of videos here on YouTube. We started off strong with some Starbucks this morning because Colin forgot his phone here at home, so I had to drop it off to him at work and I thought, you know what, I'm already out. It's early, your girl wants some Starbucks. So I got a peach green tea lemonade. It's my go-to next to the matcha lemonade. And then I don't know if they add liquid cane sugar to this. I feel like they do in literally every single drink. So whether they put it in or not, I say don't do that and put in one stevia. So that is how I like my Starbucks. And then I also got myself a little blueberry scone. I have been thinking about some kind of yummy baked good all week and it's still on my mind. So I need to satisfy that craving before it goes a wire. Usually I would do an F45 workout on Saturday mornings, but today I'm actually getting my hair done, which if you can tell, I am in desperate need of. So I am very excited to be switching up my plans this week. And she likes to work early and I like to go in early, so I'm actually leaving for that very soon. So I'm gonna have a couple bites of this scone, but I'm also gonna have some real breakfast to tie me over so that, you know, I'm not starving sitting in a salon chair. We all know how long that takes. So let's get this day started and go make some breakfast. Alrighty, here's the plan. We're gonna make almost a classic breakfast, just minus the breakfast sausage. So I'm going to do an egg with a little bit of extra egg whites, a Trader Joe's hash brown and a little bit of avocado. I just don't think I'm hungry enough to actually include the sausage, especially if I'm eating a little bit of a scone. So that is what we're making. It's going to be super quick and I literally have to leave in 20 minutes. <laughs> Alrighty, here is breakfast, the hash brown, avocado, and egg. I'm going to add ketchup to my hash brown, of course. Then I'm also going to add some Louisiana to the eggs and the hash brown. Can't not have hot sauce on my eggs. I only have seven minutes now, so I need to scarf this down as soon as possible. I'm like halfway done with my scone, but then I can just bring the drink on the go. Then we're gonna hair done. All right, before I go, one last look at the hair. The bad, bad roots. The length, I'm gonna get some length off, just like two inches, something like that. So yeah, it is going to be looking much more fresh in a second. And we're back just like that. My hair looks infinitely better. I mean, this might be the best job they have ever done. Like, look at how white it is. The roots, oh my god, my roots were painful to look at. Wow. And the length, it's Honestly, I kept a lot of my length. I got like two inches off, but doesn't it look like so much healthier? I love it, it looks so pretty. I wish I had like plans today or something where I could take cute pictures. Maybe I'll make Colin take pictures of me when he gets home from work, I probably will. But I don't really like have any plans today, so I don't have anywhere to like show off my cute new hair, but that's okay. <laughs> really quick, I need to get up my video for the day because once again, I am a little bit late because the thumbnail is not done. So I'm gonna finish my scone from earlier and I finished doing that really quick, but then I'm going to hop in and make some lunch, even though it's not even 11 yet. Usually I'm always very hungry when I come back from getting my hair done because I do it earlier in the morning. So I'm pretty much always ready for lunch. Hello, beautiful angel. Did you miss me? Did you miss mommy? is posted and I'm ready for lunch. I'm gonna do a little like honey ham tortilla wrap with some pesto mayo. I think that sounds really good and I need to finish up this honey ham that I got and by finish up, I mean start eating it in the first place. <laughs> and then on the side, I'm gonna do a little bit of this leftover rice that I have from this restaurant nearby called Green Corner. It's like a Mediterranean kind of place and the yellow rice in there is really good. So I'm gonna eat that on the side because it needs to be finished up. And here are all the wrap ingredients. I'm gonna use these sun-dried tomato basil wraps that I got at the store recently. And then this is is the pesto that I'm going to use. It's just the Good and Gather brand, and then I'm gonna mix it with some mayo. I only have QP mayo right now. I'd love to have like a vegan -aise or something like that, but that's all I have, so I'll just mix those two together. And then I have this Good and Gather honey ham, and I'm also gonna throw in just the greens from this salad kit, because I need to eat it up, and I need some greens in this, some veggies. I'm just gonna save the toppings and the leftover vinaigrette, and I'm gonna put that on like a separate salad where the greens are not going bad, so that I can use this up.
And this is the finished wrap. No, it is not actually wrapped up yet, but I'm just gonna do that after because it's so thick and tall from all the greens that it's just gonna be a mess when I do it. So showing it to you now. Got some pickles on the side. I'd like to think they count as a vegetable, right? They were a cucumber at one point. And then I've got the little cup of rice over here. So that is lunch. I'm finishing up stuff in the fridge. So I'm very proud of myself. And I'm probably just gonna like watch a YouTube video on my laptop while I eat. I just love my hair. It looks so good. It makes me so happy. I need to take pictures later today because it just looks so phenomenal. I can't even. Also drinking some water with my lunch. I also did drink my Bloom Greens this morning, the mixed berry flavor. I just forgot to show it because I chugged it on the way out this morning. I'm not gonna lie, that was the first sip of real water that I've had this morning. I drank Starbucks, I drank my greens, and I have not drank just plain water, and it tasted phenomenal. I'm definitely gonna need to chug some water so that I can catch up for the day, but now I'm just gonna enjoy my lunch. Sorry if you hate pickles. Can't relate. And the rice from this restaurant truly is phenomenal. If you guys are ever in the Phoenix area, Green Corner, such a good Mediterranean place. So good. This is how I'm rolling it up. It's not beautiful or anything, and I probably can't let it go or it's gonna fall apart, but hey, it does the job. All right, now as a little dessert, I'm having just a few Girl Scout cookies because I still have this box left and I need to finish them. But that's not why I'm eating them. I genuinely just really want a minty chocolatey Girl Scout cookie. I'm trying to figure out what to do with the rest of my day. It's like two o'clock and I think Colin comes home in like an hour and a half. So don't know if he's gonna wanna do anything, but I feel like it's like too late to go to the pool because it's past tan time and it's just like hot. So I wouldn't even be like getting tan. I would just be sitting out there in the hotness and sweating and get sunscreen all over myself then get my new hair all greasy. So that's obviously out. And I really don't have that many groceries that I need to get this week. And I think I'm just gonna save it for tomorrow. So I don't need to go to the grocery store. Any other excuse I make to leave the house would literally just entail spending money. So I don't wanna do that as much as I would love to go for like a walk or something like that. It is so freaking hot. Actually, let's check the temperature right now. Ah, just barely isn't 100. It is 99 degrees and that's just not like the best sitting chilling outside kind of weather like that does not make me want to go for a walk or go on a hike or something like that so i think i'm kind of just in the house all day with nothing to do and see these are the days that i eat more food because i don't know what to do with myself <laughs> so i don't know what the plan is going to be for today i guess i'm just gonna catch up on some netflix until colin comes home and see if he wants to do something with me i'd even just be down to like set up the living room like make a cute little movie night make a cup of tea make some popcorn that sounds really fun but for right now my day is extremely uneventful and hey you know what that just happens sometimes. That is life. You don't need to be doing something every second of every day. Yesterday was a fun night. I went out to downtown Phoenix, got a couple of drinks out there and had a good night. So I don't feel the need to like do something today. I'm just kind of like, I don't, I don't know. I don't usually have free days like this. So catch me just drinking my water, watching the latest season of Selling Sunset on Netflix, I guess. And uh, That'll be the rest of my afternoon. I'm also going to a body shower tonight and do a new layer of self tan. I'm pretty tan right now. It has worn off pretty well, but I just got a new self tanner. So I really want to try that out tonight and have a fresh tan for the week. All right, I did convince Colin to watch a movie with me. We're going to start the Spider-Man series. I've never seen any of them before of the newer ones, the one with um, Tom Holland in them. So I really want to start. So we're starting with Homecoming so that we understand everything that's going on. But I am going to make that popcorn that I talked about because it sounds too good now and I just love popcorn in a movie. I just make my own popcorn with these kernels that I got from Walmart and then I'm gonna do a little combo of this butter seasoning and also a little bit of normal butter and then for salt I do this Vulcan fire salt. Those are the ingredients if you want to try to make this at home. Basically it's just like spicy salt so you could do like some cayenne pepper and regular salt if you want to make your popcorn spicy. I have this really nice popcorn maker. I love it. It's silicone and you just put it in the microwave it's so easy. I'm gonna measure out one fourth of a cup of the popcorn kernels and it fills this bowl perfectly. Then I'm just gonna pop on the lid and I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about two minutes and then I'm gonna stop it and throw in a tablespoon of butter and do like 15 to 30 more seconds. And if you've been looking for a popcorn thing like this, I'll leave it linked down below. It's just from Amazon, super inexpensive. I like to do it this way of taking it out and then popping the butter in and just doing it again because that way I don't need to warm up the butter in a different dish and like dirty stuff. Ah, cat hair. Ugh, it's everywhere in this house.
but I'm starting to get hungry for dinner so I just want to start making my dinner now so that I'm not starving and then I don't want to make it. But first I am craving something other than water because I did drink my entire water bottle which is really good but now I'm kind of tired of water so I want to switch it up a little bit. So I'm gonna drink this poppy soda in the flavor pineapple mango. It just sounds so fruity and delicious. I love poppy sodas. They are good for your gut health. They have apple cider vinegar in them and it's only 20 calories which is really nice compared to other beverages out there so I'm gonna drink this and of course it's always fun to drink a fun drink in a fun cup so I'm gonna put it in my favorite tumbler So for dinner tonight, I'm finally gonna try this stir fry mix that I got from Trader Joe's. It is the riced cauliflower stir fry mix. It is green peas, red bell peppers, grilled corn, tamari, spring onion, sesame oil, and ginger. It sounds really good, it looks really good, and I'm going to combine it with some shrimp that I have in the freezer. I just need to thaw these out so I can take off the tails, and then I'm just gonna mix it up. I think I'm gonna make two servings though so that I can have one to have as leftovers tomorrow which is really nice and then I'm also going to throw a couple random things that I have in the fridge. I have like the tiniest amount of these mixed vegetables so I might as well just put those in there and then I have the tiniest amount of real rice so I'm just going to throw that in there as well. But it's going to be a very easy dinner. I hope that I like this stir fry mix. If I do I'm going to go grocery shopping tomorrow and I'll get another one maybe even two if it's like that good. <laughs> here she is and then I have the other portion over here I don't know I might have more later I mean if I'm hungry I'll go ahead and eat it but I do have another portion if I end up being full after this it looks and smells so good and of course I'm going to add Frank's Red Hot because this is my favorite hot sauce especially on fried rice I don't know why it just tastes so good to me so I'm going to smother it in hot sauce and we're gonna finish that movie okay yes this cauliflower stir fry mix from Trader Joe's is definitely a win I would definitely combine it with more real rice next time but I just didn't have any made and I wanted to make this super fast so it's fine for now, but definitely combine it with a little bit of extra real rice, and then it is definitely a win. I just love meals that take only 15 minutes. Whenever I see those meal kits that say 30 minutes or like 45, I'm like, that is too long for me. I do not want to wait 30 to 45 minutes for dinner. When I'm hungry, I'm hungry. So I want to make my food immediately. And this was definitely a very quick and healthy dish to put together. We've got like half of the movie left and I actually really like it so far. I wasn't sure how it's gonna feel because I'm not usually into like Spider-Man movies, but I love Marvel and I really like this so far. I'm definitely happy that we decided to make it a movie night because I actually feel like I'm doing something today, like a little activity, but it didn't cost me any money. Actually, that's a lie. I just paid $2 to rent it on Amazon Prime, <laughs> but close enough, you know? I just took a body shower and I feel so nice and clean. My skin is all moisturized now. I feel so good, but that is going to bring us to the end of this what I eat in a day because I'm not eating anything else and I just brushed my teeth, so I am getting ready for bed. Although, actually, yeah, I think I will take some sleep gummies tonight. I'm like pretty tired, but honestly, I just haven't been sleeping the best. You know what? I'm just never a good sleeper. I never sleep that great. Don't know how to fix that. <laughs> so I'm going to take two of these. Got my cute little loaf of bread on the floor. Hi, boo-boo. Oh, you're so beautiful. 
These are blackberry with a hint of mint. Not the worst thing, but I don't know if I love that flavor. <laughs> but with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. And don't forget to click subscribe down below so that you never miss another video. I'm going to curl up into bed and I will see you guys in my next video. Toodles!